Hello everyone, welcome to Foundation with me Banto. It's been a long time since I played this game and today we're gonna revisit it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I'm hoping for a lot of different uh, changes uh, since we played last time. So we have a few different options, we're going for a map, we got coastal, fluvial hills, mountain and valleys. So valley I think looks pretty interesting, I love the beautiful rivers going around, it looks pretty beautiful, so I'm gonna go with a valley. Welcome to Foundation guys, this is our new world, this is where we're gonna settle. So let's look for a beautiful place that we can settle down. I think this or this side could be pretty beautiful. The real cool thing that I really enjoy about this game is that it's so creative as well. And I love being creative in games to be able to design my own towns and see them shape over time. But here, I think this could be a good spot. We're gonna be able to do fishing and maybe make a nice little bridge between these two different lands and later on. I feel like that's pretty cool. There's a big beautiful rock up here on the river as well. I've never seen those before. I think they're new maybe since the last time when I played the game. But let's uh, settle down uh, down here. We're gonna purchase this territory. That's gonna be our home. So this is where we're gonna live. We have to set up our first little village center. So where are we gonna have it? I'm gonna have it uh, around uh, kind of close to the woods over here. Village center. But we're gonna name this town Bentonia. And if possible, I'm also gonna be naming some people after you guys. I don't remember if you can do or they might have changed it. There's different, definitely some changes down here. We can see how beautiful the people. They still stare with their interesting looking eyes still. And um, this has been updated. So there's new info. I'm on my free time. That's good, that's good. We can see their needs and that's really cool and the happiness. The UI elements... They look a lot more modern than we used to do and I love it. I love transparency. It's very simple and transparent and I do love that. So let's get started then. What should we do first? I guess we can set up to get a building workshop. So this I think is a new building. Builders can be assigned here to work on the construction around the village. We are gonna get one of those. But we're also gonna rotate it around. So we're gonna have it pretty close to the village center, but not maybe too close. Maybe over here. So there we go, build that one. We're gonna assign some builders. I guess we can move up to three of them. Because we wanna make sure we have a few builders that can start building our beautiful new kingdom, right? So, let's see what we're gonna do first then. Here we have the painted, that's where we can set up like, I wanna harvest this zone for example. We're gonna harvest a little bit of wood. We may want to harvest a little bit of berries later on, so let's tag that as well, and hopefully we have some stone in the woods. There we go. Get a beautiful stone going. And we can also set that up if we want to replant the trees, which we probably want to do. I'm going to do a little bit of replanting over here, and we can do a little bit of shopping at the same place, kind of. And maybe here we open up a bit to clear up the forest. So we got some builders, it's time to start to gather things, and I think we're gonna start with an... Let's see what it costs here, so this one produces wood. Okay, I think we're gonna start with a lumber camp, it feels like the basic thing that you start a lot of these games with. So let's make a little lumber camp over here, maybe next to our worker house. So let's build that one. Chopping down a few trees before we can start building it. And some beautiful resources getting over. Who is building? Akindo! Thank you, thank you. There's one person doing this one. Awesome. So let's assign a worker to it. There we go. Maybe two woodcutters. How many people do we have at the moment? Eight in population. We have eight workers then. Okay, so we have at the moment five that is currently working. And now we're getting some beautiful trees from the wood, that's so awesome. I'm also happy that I can play this game in a lot of higher quality these days because I have a better computer overall and this game is really gorgeous. So we're chopping some wood and let's look into uh, chopping some stone. So I'm gonna make it a stone cutter camp and I'm gonna have it very very close to where we're cutting stone because we want to save a little bit of time. A thing that I always felt was cool with this game is that they will create their own little road tracks when they're working and going around, they find their best path to whatever, wherever they need to go. And we can also restrict different paths so we can forbid the land, like you can't walk over here, you have to walk around it for example. Or if you don't want to have them around that area at all, we can like block off different zones. 
We can probably also lock off different uh, regions if I, we had a land over here and a land over there. We can like, like make a forbidden land right between them. And then they probably couldn't go between each other. But we're gonna get some stone in there. So we're currently building that one. And then we're gonna assign and build her. I feel like when they're, while they're busy with that, we're gonna start to gather a few berries. Because that's how we use it to do as well. So we need to have a gathering hut. So this one produces the berries. So let's have this one pretty close to the bears as well. I don't want to have too many of the industrial production houses like too close to the center. I want that to be more lively with houses, markets. It's going to be a lively area where people gather around. So we got that. And a forester camp, we're going to need that. But I think I'm going to wait with that one. It's not super important in the beginning if I remember correctly about that. Uh, but the granary over here is where we can uh, store and trade. Different things like food, raw food, and luxurious food, and we can trade it in that one. And this one you used to make very early on, so I'm guessing it might be the same still. And this is a beautiful house, it's got a lot of things going on on it. So this one I'm gonna have maybe next to the berry house, over here. It only costs a stone and wood, so we should be fine. But we will eventually need to make a sawmill so we can make some boards. So let's assign, um, let's go for maybe one miner maybe. So that will be six people, then we have one left over for the berries, that will be seven. And this guy over here, that's gonna be eight. Which means we're gonna need more houses pretty, pretty soon. And we currently got a quest to produce berries, and it's a good idea to follow those down there. I think we can even prioritize to do this one before the other ones, we can prioritize construction of it. I mean, I'm gonna do that. Let's get our first berry collector. Maybe we can get two of them. Let's do that. And now we should only have around zero people around. Uh, empty hands to work. And let's see, there should be a menu for that. Here you can see what we work with. You can see their skills. This, uh, like the UI has been improved so much. My village. Okay, here we have it. That's the name. Bantonia. Let's maybe name it Kingdom of Bantonia. Lord Unknown is going to be Banto. And I wonder then, can we actually rename them? Because I could rename these things. I wonder if I can also rename them over here. I would love to be able to do so. We can. Okay, guys. So if you have name requests, let me know in the comments. Guy or girl and uh, drop in with the names you got. Because we are going to be able to name everyone, it seems. So I can name someone in here, for example. Maybe Yakinto we can name, for example. So now his name is Bob. That's awesome. Okay, so now we should be collecting a little bit of berries. I'm hoping so. Yes, we have a little bit of berries. So now we have to stock the resources. And that's what we are doing in the granary. So we have to have one person working in this one. Let's prioritize building that. We're missing a little bit of stone. I'm gonna decrease the amount of builders we have. So, I wonder if you can do that. You can do a plus here, but... Okay, you go in here and then you can remove people. And then you can see the unemployed. Like, the UI is so much better in this game these days. It's beautiful. Love it. It's really fun when you go back and revisit some of these games. And I definitely want to check out some mods for this game later on. Because I know this game has a lot of beautiful mods that allows you to be super creative with designing your towns. And really go into fine details with things. Okay. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. Maybe we can chop down a little bit of trees start later on. Since I did remove... a Two workers from the builders. I can add another miner and I can add a an transporter to this one. And that's the amount of people we get at the moment. So I think we also still need to set these up right. Yeah, so we can store some berries in this one. We can store only that for now. Oh, awesome. We got some gold. The beautiful gold. So now we have to fill the needs of your newcomers. Okay. We have to build a well, we have to build a market, and assign a market tender. We have to sell resources in a market as well, okay. So, I'm gonna start with the well, uh, that shouldn't be too hard to do. We also have some different categories down here, so this is everything. Then we can go logistics, we got resource production, food production, services, administration, decoration, and transportation. Ooh, Lord Manor, that's looking beautiful. But here we have the well. So, I'm gonna have this very, very close. We could even put it perhaps in the middle. I don't really like having like boxes in the middle. 
Um, I wonder if I can still like place it on top of it. Just to be sure I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put it right next to it. So I'm gonna have it over there. And that was a little bit of logs and some stone. And I don't think we need any salmon yet. We're gonna wait a bit with that. But a market uh, we're gonna set up over here. So I'm gonna drop this one in the middle into the pole there. So we're gonna have a food stall, requires only wood, so that should be really easy to do. And uh, where the little white little ball is, that's where our worker is gonna be standing to sell the beautiful food. So let's have this one around there, that should be good. We don't really have to do any decorations, we're gonna go very basic for now, nothing else, only using other 10 logs to do this one. And then we have the market, need the market tender, and we need to sell food in the market. Okay, so that's gonna be going pretty good. We just need, I think, one empty hand. We have eight people at the moment, so we have to release someone from their duty for now. Maybe one bear collector, maybe one stone. Yeah, let's remove one stone cutter. The Emily, you're gonna be working at the market later on. Awesome, let's set this up to have a market tender. So now it should be Emily working in there, awesome. And um, we're gonna set it up for what we're gonna sell. We're gonna sell some berries, we're gonna move them over to the market. And Emily is gonna be able to get our people served with some good, good berries, that can be awesome. So she's bringing some over for there, carrying it over. There we go, supplied with some fresh berries, come buy some berries. Emily got the berries for you guys. And our well is almost fully done. There we go, awesome, completed the quest. Encouraging immigration. So now we have to increase our population by maximizing immigration probability. Assign job to all the villagers and we have to raise the happiness and happy little people become happy by eating some berries. And later on we have to satisfy them with more needs. They might want to drink things that are tasty, they might want to have a variation in food, they might want to get some better clothing later on. So currently we have uh, how much do we get? 44 out of 100. Okay, so that's what we see up here, the percentage. So 75% happiness. I think that should be pretty good. I have to get it up to 100, it seems though. There we go, awesome. Easy, easy, easy. So I'm gonna set up maybe an, um, a sawmill, maybe just for later on. And this one doesn't have to be like next to the forest. We can have it a little bit of distance away if we want to. I'm gonna have it over here actually. So this will be like a little kind of industrial area where we're collecting berries, storing things, uh, working with the sawmill, collecting stone, and the uh, builders uh, work from here as well. So hopefully we'll get some new people joining us soon. I really, really hope so. It can be awesome. Ooh, we got some new people to join us. And a message from the kingdom. The kingdom recognized your efforts in establishing your settlements. I'm but your humble servant. So we got some, I think that's some kind of reputation. And it will also start a quest to promote your first newcomer. Unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. Hmm, cool. So that's neat. We can some new people. Then we can have one work in, in the sawmill perhaps. The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of lockables. So we're gonna promote the first newcomer. Build a lord manor. Assign a great hall function to the lord manor room. At the start of the month, promote the villager to serve, and we also have a lock warehouse from the labor estate panel, okay. And now we can also set up our residential zones, which we're gonna do. So the green areas are more favorable zones, you can see they don't wanna live close to our production, like sawmills and so on, so and we're gonna set up to have some houses around this area. So there we go, they're already starting to build a little bit. So there's gonna be a strong focus around here. And then um, we're gonna do the Lord Manor. This is our own manor. And I kinda wanna live pretty close to everyone in town. I wanna be a part of town. I don't wanna be like in the outskirts. I wanna be close to my people, right? So I wanna live fairly, fairly close, but I'm gonna have this beautiful ocean, I guess river view from here. So I'm gonna be close to them, but I'm gonna have a very beautiful view over there. So this is really cool that you can like design your own things and uh, I think they might have been updated since last time when I played it. But we have a lot of different parts that we can add here. The more we add, the more expensive it's gonna get. But also the cooler it's gonna be. But we have a lot of different parts to play around with here. 
And we also got some decoration, like a rustic chimney, that's gonna be cool. And some beautiful vegetation as well. But we have to start with the core. And the cool thing is that we can like drag it up, so if we wanna have it taller or shorter, no matter the way we wanna have it, right? And maybe we wanna be even closer to the water. Okay, that's outside of territory, but maybe something like that. Maybe raise it up one step. And then we can hook these things into the same building to create some interesting style. So I'm considering rotating this around and maybe putting it like that. I kind of want to have it a little bit more to the side though, so I might actually go a little bit more custom with it. And here we can disable snapping, because sometimes you don't want it to be like that. You might want to have the full power to be fully custom. Snapping is really good, but sometimes you may want to be able to get it exactly the way you want it to be. So, for example, in my case, I might want to have it like that. I, I don't want it to be centered, I don't want that. But I'm also going to have it to go outside a bit more. But I also don't want them to be colliding with each other at the wall side. So I'm going to rotate it like that, push it out a bit, maybe to get a window over there. And we can also raise this up if we want to, so we can have it like that. And then we want to have a door to get inside. And maybe now we want to turn on snapping to snap it to a point. It really depends on how you want to do it. But I'm kind of leaning towards having it connected to the side over here. Over there. So that would be like the entrance to it. And uh, maybe for now we don't want to go like too far. We can add a chimney. A chimney is always beautiful. And perhaps we can imagine that this would be like an... Uh, I guess like a little kitchen or something like that in this corner. So that would be our starting Lord of Banner, and we can keep adding more things to it later on. Visitor location. I think this is a new thing. I don't know if this is like the visitor can stand there just to like look around. I'm not entirely sure how this actually works. I'm gonna try to put out a few of them and see what happens. So something like that, this is going to be uh, 26 planks and uh, 19 stones to do this one. So let's build it. That means we need our beautiful new sawmill that is ready. Okay, awesome. So let's get um, maybe two carpenters to start out. We're going to need some planks pretty quick. We do have a stone, we do have logs, so it should be going fairly easily to do that, I think. And here's our first little building. Looks like we're getting another one next to it, which also requires only some logs. And I really, really like it like when it satisfies your people and they increase their ranks in the village. They will also upgrade their buildings to look differently. And uh, it looks really, really cool to see your town evolve over time. I really, really enjoy that. So I don't think we want to occupy people with too many things because we only have the hands we got in town so far. Oh, we got two new villagers from the two people we're passing to decided to join your village. That's so happy to hear, right? They're joining our village because it seems interesting. It seems like it could be a home for them. But they can have a good time over here. So what do we want to get? Maybe another builder. I think that would be pretty good to get another one. Or two. Let's start with one, maybe. Because we're currently building our Lord Manor while we're also doing a house. So I think it might be a good decision to have two of them for now, and then maybe we can have them... Um, should we have another one working in the sawmill? I think two is pretty good though. It looks like we got some new animations this last time I played as well. That's gonna take some time to saw through that one, and through that direction. And in the back here, we got this guy working over here. Other libero, and this is a Soliana. I just love like this new UI, it's so amazing, I love it. Have you guys played uh, this game recently? What do you guys think of the updates since uh, maybe a year ago or so? Ooh, we're building another building over here. Nice. We do have to have more happy homes for our people. Ooh, that's really cool. You can see the ongoing constructions up here to see what's going on. And you can also see different things. No work is assigned. So I think if it's like one building that has no work at all, you can see it up here and if the storage is full, if there's issues with the paint zone, that's so awesome. We can see that one village is unemployed. 
And we can click that to jump to them and we can even follow them. And that's really cool. And here you can see the immigration happiness, employment, residential space, and how often they will arrive in seven days. That's cool, that's cool. I'm gonna get another uh, wood cutter because it looks like we need some more logs. We still have one. Okay, there we go. Zero unoccupied, which is gonna be more attractive for people to join us when they know that there's jobs for them if they move in here. We are expanding our time, and there's jobs around for them if they wanna join us. So now we have high immigration. Every four days they will arrive the next wave. Let's see with the paint tool, because I think we have to paint a little bit more so we can have a few more houses around. Maybe, let's maybe make this zone quite a lot bigger. Like that, and then we can do maybe no reforestation over here. And we can make this bigger as well. There we go, okay, make it bigger. And we can uh, regrow the forest, maybe in the back over here. We might move the forest quite a bit. Maybe something like that. And then we can also have so we extract everything around here. But we'll also replant the things. But to do that, we also need to have a new building. We do need to have uh, the forester building. Which we have over here, the forester camp. Plant trees in reforestation zones. So this one I'm gonna have um, a pick around here. Like I said, this can be like a little industrial area with a lot of production buildings. So that's only gonna be 10 planks to do that one. And our Lord Manor is getting more and more complete. Awesome. We can have a really nice view over here and the fishes will be nearby. Okay, now we have two unemployed people, so we have to assign them for some work. Let's get another builder, let's do that. And the next one is gonna be working in the forester camp, so we're gonna be able to replant things. Oh, look at that! Our Lord Manor is done! Awesome! Lord Manor built! Looking beautiful! So, Let's see here. We can assign different parts of the house to different things. So here we have a part list, and we have this location, and then we have, uh, let's see here, the core, we can assign it to Great Hall Treasure, so let's have that as a Great Hall. And uh, I'm not sure, was there any bad thing of adding it? Okay, we can only have great, one Great Hall, but we can have another treasure, so we can store more gold on hand. There we go, awesome. Promotion available. So in here we can promote them. We can pay a little bit of gold. I think that's gold. Okay, we can promote them all. I'm not sure if we should do that, but let's do it. The Splendor of your Village has unlocked new tier of unlockables. Awesome. And unlock a warehouse from the Labor Estate panel. So in here uh, we can upgrade things in the labor, we can un upgrade the warehouse, we're spending some of those points for that. And we can also unlock a bailiff office, I don't think there's any like loss to do that, so let's do it. So now we should be able to make a warehouse, we can store things as well. Use of storage and trading resources and uh, goods and luxury. And this one is the one we can like sell to some merchants that will visit our towns, we can sell things from it. So this one, I'm gonna have that one, let's see. I guess in this area as well. We will not be able to have so much forest around here, but... Yeah, let's have it around here. I'm gonna have it like next to the road. It's gonna look pretty good, I think. Some planks and some stone to do that one. So now we have to unlock a trade round to get some tools. So, we're gonna go into the same place, and uh, there were a uh, thing to unlock trade rounds. So here we've got the no North Bury, allied by, allied with labor. The subject deep uh, within a thick forest. North Bury welcomes all with a warm heart. So, we're gonna unlock this one. This is the things they wanna buy. They wanna buy bears, they wanna buy wine, they wanna buy polished stone and planks, and they want to sell a couple of things so we can 
buy tools for them. So let's unlock that one. Ooh, we have another free territory. Awesome. So we can expand our position a little bit. So if we go here, we can get a free territory. I wonder which one I'm going to have. I feel like we want to have one that has quite a bit of land. It is tempting to get this, but I don't think we are going to get that. So I'm leaning towards this zone, and maybe we can have some production going on there. So we can gather a little bit more of wood out there, so... I'm gonna change the zone a little bit. Gonna paint this, so we're gonna have extraction over here. But we're also gonna be reforesting this area. So now we're gonna set up our first trade route with this new building. So we're gonna do that, guys, in the next video. Uh, but I'm really, really enjoying these new updates. It looks much better than it used to look, and uh, I'm so happy to see that they're continuing to work and improve this game. And I can't wait to see more things as we keep going with it and uh, keep trying to be creative with designing our beautiful new town. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like on the video. If you want to watch the next one, make sure to subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you guys very, very soon again. So, thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone.